rounds were up. So first things first, I'm going to make my bed because uh, if that's the one thing I accomplished that day, at least I started my day off right getting something done. Um, so today is a Tuesday. I didn't have school today, so I got to sleep in a little bit and be kind of have a lazier morning, more laid back. Um, I am getting my warm clothes on because I'm going to go riding soon and I wanted to make sure horses had enough time to eat. And it's pretty cold now, so doing my little dancey dance, don't know what that was. Um, this was also my brain fart moment of the morning. It took me a moment to realize what I was doing with my foot and which foot was what, but you know, cool beans. All ready to go feed. I gotta let Mr. Bandit out with me, so I made a little feeding buddy. And Mr. Man needed to go potty, so he was a good boy. And it was really cold and windy. Hashtag thriving. If you can't tell which dog is the yappy one, it would be my cute little rat dog, Dallas. Um, I, I don't know what to do. She's so, so yappy. And here's Taylor. Hi. Hi, sweetie. So Max is getting some attention today. Um, I have to soak his cubes every single day because he can't swallow them correctly and they will build up at the back of his throat and he will choke on them if I don't soak them. So um, I'm getting some hot water now. He has an abscess in his front left foot so I just cleaned it out with the hoof pick. Now I'm getting uh, some hot water in a Ziploc baggie. There's Miss Benelli. And then to that hot water, I added about one and a half cups of Epsom salt. This is to help draw the infection out of his foot. And then I need to get some iodine to put some iodine in there too to help kill the bacteria and everything. Um, but I'm just putting that around his foot and then wrapping it with electrical tape. I'm gonna let Max soak for about 15 minutes um, while he is soaking. I checked on the chickens, they were all good. And now I'm making him just a tiny bit of grain uh, with some butte in it. The butte is to help reduce inflammation in his foot and to help him not be so ouchy. So there's the butte. I think I added one and a half grams. And then adding a little bit of water to help it stick so he wouldn't just pick through it. 
Ai, quero. Ai, Dodges. His foot is most definitely out of frame, um, but this is just Jim Rickens painting on his foot to kill bacteria and harden his feet, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's me kind of trusting Max to go back to his stall, and then he found snacks. Sorry, his Binky's bum. And his Binky's bum again. And then he finally went into his stall, because he's a good boy. After giving him hugs, I had to uh, try and fix his stall sign. It's really cute. It says Duramax. It's from Horseshoe Names on Instagram, and they did a great job with it. Uh, and he looks atrocious and is super dirty and gross, but that is all winter with him. Gotta be there 40. He goes, no, they're 70. And I go, they are 40. You look around like 40 is really too much thought into it, but it kind of likes, it kind of likes blue, but it kind of likes gray, but it kind of likes purple. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Yeah, that's way cute, huh? Mm -hmm. I love it. Prepare yourself for my pure cheesiness and sick transition in five, four, three, two, one. For today's fit, I have my Jennifer Kimes on and then this black long sleeve, I don't know where it came from. I'm pretty sure it is a youth shirt, but I wear it anyways because I can. Okay, now I'm going to go through kind of my skincare routine, I guess. Um, most of these products will be linked in the description. I have an Amazon uh, storefront, and it really helps me out if you guys shop through there because I make some commissions off of there. So, if you want to help a girl out to make some money, just go order stuff through my Amazon homefront. And you can get the same stuff that I have. I'm not very good at makeup, but 
I am gonna throw just a couple things on just because I can. So, got some brow gel going on right here. And the faces I make when I curl my lashes and when I'm putting on mascara and stuff crack me up. This is mascara primer. Uh, just to help it stay a little bit longer and I think it helps them stay curled. I don't really know. My most favorite thing is this though. This is highlighter and it just makes my day so much better. I put it on my nose and on above my lip and by my eyeball and then in the corner of my eyeball. Good morning everyone. Horses are fed. Bed is made. Face is washed. Face is not so crusty now that I have some uh, loveliness on. I'm waiting to hear from Emily because she's going to go to the arena with me. So I'm going to call her again. See if we can go to the arena right now. Uh, while I'm waiting, I'm just making some breakfast. Uh, that was a Hardcore fail. I tried cracking it with one hand and it just looks nasty, but I was filling like some eggs this morning. Splash of almond milk because, you know, lactose intolerant. And then got to use the fancy salt and pepper shaker thingies. A few weeks ago, I filled my elk tag. Well, I had two elk tags and so I'm just reheating up some steak. Uh, we had elk steaks the other night for dinner, so steak and eggs for breakfast, and here I'm giving Bandit just a tiny taste of the elk steak, and he was very happy. Good? With your bug eyes? With your bug eyes? Hi! Oh, it's snowing. What the? What the? I just want to ride my new horse! Okay, so thankfully the trailer was already hooked up because I went and picked up Taylor from the trainer yesterday. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. So basically, in my video two videos ago from almost a year ago, I had Shooter. Uh, since then I've sold him, it just didn't work out with him and I didn't have enough time for him. And then I ended up getting a two-year-old, a little Dash to Fame bred baby. And so that's Taylor. And I started her, I put first couple rides on her probably first six or seven rides and with my college classes and JTech and I was interning at a vet and working between all that I was like I want to make sure she gets like a solid start like early on so I sent her to a, a trainer that's done raining previously for two months so she's been there she was in Colorado actually yesterday I went and drove and picked her up closer to my house. We got the trailer hooked up. Also new trailer since the last time I seen you guys, so I will do a trailer tour soon. I really don't know what these red spots are, but we'll just cover them up. No, we won't, because she's beautiful with red spots. I'm just letting the truck warm up, and then I can go to the arena, even though it's snowing slash raining. Wee. <laughs> I need pictures with my saddle box. Oh, okay. What's up, Taylor? Welcome home. You excited, Carly? Excited to see how she is. Pretty girl. Hi, Taylor. And hello, Missy. 
afternoon. Like I said before, uh, this is my first time riding Taylor since getting her back from the trainer. Um, she just barely turned two this year, so she's still just a baby. She looks good. Moving out good. Got her ears forward, checking stuff out. So this winter, I'm not going to be riding her very hard. I'm also not going to just let her sit just because I want to get her going. Um, still figuring her out too, like right here. She kind of froze up a little bit, and when I asked her to back, I asked for her head, and she kind of resisted the bit a little bit, and everyone asks how to back differently, so I texted the trainer and asked how he teaches it and how he initiates it, because personally, I usually roll my spurs or bounce my legs a little bit, um, and she wasn't responding to that, so we'll have to figure that out. Not a hard thing, though. Um, she's getting it a little bit better here. I'd still like to see her nose tucked a little bit more. Out right here, I'm asking her to lope, which took some effort to get her to actually lope. We had to use some courage, and she picked up the wrong lead, so I slowed her down a little bit, and then asked her to lope again. And we got a really fast trot going. There we go. Now we're loping. It's on the correct lead this time. And now she slowed down, so I got out my whip again. Before I sent her to the trainer, I had walked, trotted, and loped the first ride, actually. And I had already been loping her in an arena. Not in controlled circles like this. Not as controlled. And she was not in a snapple reacting like this yet. So the trainer was more to get her face soft and just to get her more confidence in moving out and all that stuff. If I had time to do it myself, I would have done things. Um, but with her being so young and it's just a prime time to make sure she gets started and started right, I did not have the time to put the commitment into her that she needed. Um, I did lots of groundwork and all that stuff with her over the summer when I had time, but once school started, I have my college classes, and I'm doing an internship, and I'm taking a vet class, and all these things, and between school and work and all that jazz, I did not have the time and commitment that she needed. So here, I'm about to ask her to pick up her right lead. Um, she didn't immediately respond to my feet when I was asking her to pick up the pace, so that's something we're going to work on. Um, but she was struggling picking up that correct lead. Here she picked up the left, which was not what I wanted, so broke her down. Asked again. Still got the wrong lead. Broke her down. Asked again. Um, and she just kept picking up the wrong lead. So I just kept asking until we got the right one. Here when she picked up the right lead, she was cross-firing in the back, so she was on a different lead in the back than she was on the front. So I still broke her down again, asked, and um, eventually she did end up picking it up. I just put weight on my inside stirrup and asked for her head to the outside a little bit. It just yep. took a little bit to get there. She had it right in the front was cross-firing there once. It is right here when she actually picks it up. There we go. Now she's on the right lead. She hasn't been TikToking at the trainers. Bump. 
sweetheart. Oh. Did you miss her? Mm -hmm. He just wants a hug. Mm -hmm. Max doesn't let me give him hugs. No? He goes... <sighs> Smacks you in the face. Uh-huh. It's like 11.15 right now. We just got home from the arena, got horses put away, everyone all taken care of. I'm gonna eat a little bit of lunch now. Edit some pictures. Start editing this video. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my morning routine. See you guys.